Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the float switch on your dishwasher. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the dishwasher. So locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse. We would then take the lower access panel off and we can get out that switch from there. If you find that difficult, you may wish to pull the dishwasher out of the cabinets. Now if you choose to do that, you will need to disconnect the drain hose, you need to disconnect the inlet fill hose, as well as turn off the water supply. You'll need to disconnect the dishwasher mounting tabs at the top from the bottom of your cabinets, and then you can pull it out and do that repair. Now we've tilted the dishwasher on its side so that we can show you this repair more clearly. If we were to do it with it still in the cabinets, we would begin by removing that access panel. And setting that out of the way. Now that you have the access panel removed, we'll see the float switch housing. We're simply going to open that up. There's a plastic locking tab on the side here. So take a flat blade screwdriver, just lift that tab up. And once we've lifted that one up onto the shoulder of that clip, we'll do the same with the second clip here. And then we can hinge that open. Just regroup those wires and lift the switch completely out of that housing. We'll disconnect the wire terminals to the old switch and discard it. Reconnect them to the new switch. and then we'll place that switch into the housing, making sure that the actuator button comes in contact with that float lever. When inserting that switch, make sure that the two little mounting studs fit up through those holes in the switch, and that will align that button. And make sure that button goes down in behind the actuator lever and just check the operation of it. We'll reroute that harness, and then we can close the cover. Make sure both tabs lock in place. Now when installing that access panel, we'll put the narrow portion on first, and we'll make sure that we line up those slotted openings on either end of it with the holes in the frame. Then we'll lay the larger portion of that panel on top of that. We'll just start the retaining screws in the openings, just enough to hold it in place. And if you've removed the dishwasher from the cabinets, you want to push it back into place before you tighten these screws. And then we can raise or lower that bottom panel to close any gap between the opening and the floor. Once you've done that, tighten those screws up. And now we can secure. We're now ready to reconnect power to the dishwasher. If you removed it from the cabinet, you'll also want to reconnect your water supply, turn the water supply on, reconnect your drain, and also push the dishwasher back into the cabinets and secure it to the bottom of your countertop. And your repair is complete.